Hello, CPC folks. I hope everyone is doing good. So today I have come up with another session of most frequently asked Salesforce developer interview question, which are mostly scenario based. And I will walk you through one of them today as well. So as usual, I have taken one scenario here to make you understand the, this, the question. So the question says here is from Apex trigger, throw an error message whenever the stage whenever the close date is changed for an opportunity which has a closed one stage so here you can see one opportunity is available which has a closed one stage and uh, i should restrict the user from editing the close date so now see i can edit this with no exception no error message or no validation but yeah you have to do this via trigger and you must be thinking like oh this interviewer is so full why is he asking me to write a trigger for such simple scenario where I can very easily do this by validation rule? Yeah, you might be thinking right, but interviewers are way more smarter. They just want to see how good are you in coding and how will you tackle all those best practices while writing an Apex trigger. So they gave a very simple scenario, although it can be achieved via different different processes, but yeah they will specifically ask you to write a trigger for this how will you do this so let's go and open developer console and make sure they're asking us to write this via apex trigger just to see the coding abilities and the logical thinking of yours as well as how you write the best practices of apex coding that is the main fundamental of asking these uh, interview questions We'll go and quickly create an Apex trigger. Let's name it as opportunity trigger here. So I hope you are very much uh, comfortable with the scenario that I mentioned. That is, I should not be able to edit the close date whenever the stage is closed one. I should get an error message if I try to. Okay, let's select the opportunity object. So from the scenario, you understand this that. Uh, the error message should be thrown for whenever it is edited. So for editing purposes, we should have a trigger context as before update. And since we have to throw the error message before the record is created into database or committed into database, so we'll use this before event. Before updating the record, we need to throw the error. So this shows your capability to understand which trigger event will you use. Okay, this is clear. Now let's proceed. Also, here one more concept will be clear. How will you identify what was the previous value and how will you identify that the, pre the value of the close date is changed? So for that, we have to use the concept of old map that I will show you. Okay, so let's start and I will quickly create one map to store the values properly. Map of ID, comma, opportunity object. Name it as old map. Yeah. This is nothing but trigger dot old map context. Trigger dot old map, what it does is so it will get all the records that have been updated recently and store the previous value of it before updating. For example, if this is my new new trigger that has been updated, so when I change the close date to something else the old map will store the previous date of this opportunity you understand whatever fields i update the old map will contain all the previous values of those fields which have been recently updated due to which this trigger got fired understood now let's proceed we will and yeah <laughs> Very important. Here they will see how will you handle bulkification. So we should not always consider that one opportunity is updated at a time. There, there can be a data load activity where millions of records will be in, updated at once and we have to handle that via trigger. So we will consider that more than one opportunity has been updated at a time and this trigger got fired. So we have to handle all those newly updated opportunities. So we will iterate those new opportunities that have been updated and we'll get those from this context trigger dot new this is simple 
this is the list of new opportunities that has been updated and then this trigger got fired okay this trigger dot new is pretty understandable that it returns the list while the trigger dot old map returns the map you will understand why am i using map over here in the next step so now we will identify which all opportunities have closed one status and their close date has been updated so we'll apply an if condition over here of dot or stage name equal to closed one and of dot this is my current opportunity okay the trigger dot new contains the updated opportunity records so current value is not equals to this old map we'll use this old map to get the previous value of the same opportunity record i will pass the opportunity id and it will return the old opportunities data then dot close state see this is a very simple statement it might not be confusing this op is the current opportunity the new one which have been updated its close date is not equals to the i will get the old maps opportunity record so old map dot get i will pass the opportunity id and it will get me the this will return the old opportunity record before being updated and inside that opportunity the close date of it so the previous value of close date when they are not matching that means it has been updated so for closed one opportunity the close date has been updated so what will i do is i will simply add an error message add error what should be the error message you cannot change date closed date for closed one opportunity okay i will use the same object to throw the error message now let's go back to our org i will try to update the date of it let's try to save this here it is you cannot change closed date for closed one opportunity this is very much similar to throwing the validation rule based on my conditions but this is how you use trigger to do the same but here see there are few things to notice we have used old map concept where we get the previous data of the updated record we have used for loop and we are triggering those uh, new newly updated uh, opportunity records and then checking the status and the stage as well as also checking whether the close date has been changed or not from the previous value the new value is different if it is different then it has been changed and if this condition satisfies i will throw this error message a very simple trigger a very simple scenario but here so many things to understand from the interviewer point of view i hope this is clear we'll come back with a different scenario in my next video thank you